Hey, this is Eric Hunter here. And I want to talk about the energy of pendulum healing because I get this question a lot. So I'm going to show you a diagram that helps to explain this concept. So hopefully it'll be easier to understand. So with pendulum healing, you're not supposed to use your own energy. So if you find yourself getting tired all the time while doing pendulum healing, it may be that you're using your own energy. There are a few other reasons why you could get tired as well, but I wanna show you now what happens. So with other forms of energy healing, the energy is coming from different sources. So for example, there's divine source energy. You can think of like Reiki as this. So the divine source energy is channeled through the healer and comes out of their hands. Some other, you know, healing methods take energy from the earth, like through your feet, and then you channel it out your hands. Some healing methods, this is considered to be like the most primitive healing method, which you should never do, by the way, <laughs> is use your own energy to heal somebody else. And this is what a lot of people do who are beginners and don't know, haven't had a few bad experiences doing this. This will drain you faster than anything. If you use your own energy an internal source of energy and then give it to somebody else. Now, there are some kinds of healing like prayer healing where the healer is not a conduit for the energy at all. And the healer just prays or does something. And then energy comes from a divine source. That's another way. Now, pendulum work is totally different. So with pendulum is here on the bottom. We have several different things where there are sources of energy. So the, you know, obviously you holding the pendulum requires energy. We're not counting that because, you know, that's, it's not a big deal. Also, when you speak that, that requires energy too. So let's break this down. So the energy that we're concerned about with pendulums is the movement of the pendulum because the pendulum, when it moves around in a circle, that's energy. And that has an energetic effect. Then there's light hitting the pendulum. And it's believed that this light interacts with the pendulum in a way that's very subtle due to its shape and its materials. And that this interaction with the light can cause the light to have an effect on the human biofield. So that's another aspect of this. And then if you say words, those words are a form of energy that you're putting into this. So pendulum alchemy and pendulum healing are completely different than other forms of energy healing because you don't use your own energy except to hold the pendulum and to speak and to think a little bit. But beyond that, you're not channeling any energy through your body. The energy is coming mostly from the spinning action of the pendulum, the light in the environment that's hitting the pendulum and being reflected off of it, and then if you add words in, your words are adding another source of energy to this. So it's different than other healing methods in that way. And if you do pendulum alchemy and pendulum healing correctly, you know, it shouldn't really make you feel tired or drained. There are a couple of reasons though why you could feel tired. I mean, there is like, you know, if you're feeling tired, like there are various reasons why, but let's go over a few of the big ones. One of them is that the pendulum, when it spins, it's, it's spinning about the same rate as a delta wave. And if you look at it too much, that can, be, or if you're really sensitive to oscillations, um, it could, you could go into entrainment with it. You could go into a rhythm with it and it could make you feel sleepy because delta waves are, are in sleep. Now, the good news is the delta waves are also very healing. So, um, you know, sleep is an extremely healing uh, experience. So that can be one reason. Another reason why you could get tired is when you're doing this, you could actually be giving yourself a self-healing too. And then often when you get a healing, you become tired. Another reason why you become tired is you're trying too hard. You really want the healing to work and you're using your own energy, using your own internal energy source to make it happen. Like you're just desperate to get a result for whatever reason. You might feel responsible for the outcome, or maybe you really want something to happen, et cetera, et cetera. And then you're not trusting 
that the pendulum can do it. Another reason you could get tired is if you use a chain on the pendulum, that can, that can be draining um, energetically. Chains conduct electricity, so that's another thing. Um, there are some other reasons too. So I, I can't go through every single reason, but those are some of the, the big ones there to be aware of with this. Because like I said, you should not be using your own energy. Now, something else really cool is that let's say you do know another form of energy healing that does not use your own energy. So for example, like channeling divine energy, like with Reiki. Well, you can do that at the same time as you do the pendulum because they are not the same type of energy. They're different sources of energy. So they complement each other. I mean, you could also do it separately. So the cool thing is about the pendulum is that it's a fairly unique way to generate energy for healing. So you can combine it with other healing modalities that use different kinds of energy or different sources of energy. And then you get a better result because you're approaching the situation from different angles. You're not going at it just in one direction. You're having multiple approaches to get a solution to you know, make what you want more likely to occur. So really powerful stuff. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Please write your questions and comments below. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to this channel. And also please check out my website, pendulumalchemy.com. I have lots of great resources there to help you learn how to use your pendulum to make your life better and the lives of those you love better. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.